Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll discuss about a one more data structure in R programming that is a matrix. So in today's session, we'll see how to create a matrix and how can we access the elements of a matrix. So the topic is matrix and the first one creation. Matrix can be created by using matrix function and this function will take three parameters. So the first one is a data which is nothing but a vector of complete information or elements and the second one is number of rows we call it as a n row and the third one is number of columns we call it as a call n call and the elements of the data should be the multiples of rows and columns for example if the number of rows are 2 and number of columns are 2 the data should contains four elements and if the number of rows is 3 and number of columns is 3 then the data should contain nine elements so this is how we have to create a matrix so three parameters so data which is a vector with elements and number of rows and number of columns so let me explain you with an example so i'm opening the r studio so first we'll remove all the previous results now let us take a variable m is equal to matrix function matrix function and let us check the class of m so because whether it is a matrix or not yes it's a matrix now see uh, m is equal to and this matrix will be having the three parameters here first one is the data let us take the data here data is equal to vector i will take some 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 okay now m is equal to matrix of data comma number of rows we need to give n row is equal to 3 and n call is equal to 2 so now you can see the maximum number of elements that this matrix hold is 3 into 2 6 elements so we need to check whether there are 6 elements or not okay so 6 elements or a multiple of 6 you can also have a multiple of 6 okay now see let us print the matrix m and you will be understanding see 10 20 30 so column wise uh, creation 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 for example let us take a few uh, 60 more so 70 80 90 100 110 and 120 now let us check see so data length differs from the size of the matrix so even though it is a multiple of rows and into columns it was not going to be accepted so only it should contain the number of elements as rows into columns or simply you can go with an Two rows and three columns that is also possible because number of rows into number of columns is six and the data should contain six elements so uh, in both cases two rows and three columns six elements three rows and two columns six elements now you can execute and see 10 30 50 uh, sorry 10 20 30 40 50 60 that means uh, three columns and two rows three columns and two rows so this is how we we have to create a matrix create a matrix now the second one is accessing how to access the elements accessing elements of matrix so here also we will using index okay using indexing so index inside subscript so this is a format we have to follow for accessing the elements so here we need to give matrix name okay so i'll write it down so here we can access 
one element so where we have to give a matrix name followed by the subscript and inside the subscript we need to give row number comma column number so the corresponding element with the given row and column will be displayed so this is for getting one element that means a single element okay see let us check now we are having uh, let us take some three rows and two columns three rows and two columns see three rows and two columns now let us check i just want to get a two second 20 okay I need to get the value 20. So 20 is in a second row and a first column. So here we need to give inside the subscript row number second row column number first column. So m of 2 comma 1. So this will give a 20. For example, if you want to get a 60, okay, then what is the row number 3 and what is the column number? It's a 2. So you'll get the element as 60. So this is the syntax to get one element, right? Next, if you want to get a whole row, complete row, if you want to get a complete row, the syntax is matrix name followed by the row number and you need not specify the column number. So just give the comma and close the subscript. So most important, give the row number, call uh, comma, and leave the column number. Don't write the column number. So automatically, whatever the row number we are giving, the complete row will be accessed. For example, here you can see. So before this, we will print M so that we'll be having some clarity. Yes. So this is a matrix M, and here I just want to give like this m3 call 3 comma and we are not specifying any column number that implies it will access all the elements of row 3 see all the elements of row 3 similarly if you go with a 1 see all the elements of row 1 so 1040 is row 1 so row 1 will be accessed similarly the third one is if you want to access whole column so quite opposite so same matrix name and followed by subscript and use a comma and call number so that means we have to mention the column number and we should not mention any row number and that should be differentiated with a comma that's most important see what happens if we are not giving this comma let us check so we are getting only one element the first element for example if you go with a four what happens 40 so what is a fourth element okay fourth element is 40 so it will be considering as a vector normal vector okay so in order to access the complete row or a particular element we need to give some row corresponding row and corresponding column and coming to the whole row we have to give the row number and comma and if you want to get a column number for example comma 2 so i need to access the complete elements of a column 2 you can you can see 40 50 60 are the elements of column 2 and if you give one so we'll get oh sorry here we need to check so if you give one we'll get the elements of first column 10 20 30 okay and then if you want to get more than one row more than one row then the syntax will be matrix underscore name and see here we need to give the row numbers which we want to access as a vector so we know that a vector means we need to use a c function similarly c give the row one row two and etc and comma don't give the column number don't give the column number so obviously the complete row numbers so whatever the rows you are mentioning here the elements of those rows will be get accessed let us check uh, let us take some 
some more values so 70 80 90 100 wanted 120 so total 12 elements are there we need to give here 2 into 3 into 4 we can take it 3 into 4 so this is the matrix 3 by 4 matrix and among this 3 by 4 matrix we are just printing m so it will it the complete elements have been displayed here and here we are giving only column one so what's the column one here this one and if you want to go with the multiple rows give the row numbers as a vector for example i'll do two comma four and comma okay comma and see you can observe oh just a second subscript out of bound okay row fourth row is not available right so i'll give three two, second row and third row so i'll get a second row and a third row so you can see 20 50 80 100 is a 110 is a second row so this is an again new matrix okay new matrix that, that's why we are getting two different rows one and two so 20 50 80 110 and 30 60 90 120 both we got for example if you want to get a one comma three so it will display the elements of first row and third row first row and third row right similarly similarly if you want to give a more than one column quite opposite which we have discussed just now so it's matrix name this is a common thing and leave blank for a row number and give the vector of column numbers as a second parameter so column one comma column two comma so and so on right so we need to leave a blank for rows so all the columns will be accessed for example if you give here comma and leave it so that that implies first column and third column so if if this particular vector is in the first position it displays the row and if it is in the second parameter or a second position we, it it implies uh, that it points to the columns so first column third column so you can see first column third column so 10 20 30 70 80 90 for example if you go with the 1 comma 3 comma 4 so you'll get uh, 1 comma 4 10 20 30 and 100 110 and 120 and again if you go with the 3 see first row first column fourth column and then third column so it will also display in the same positional order so we have given some one four and three so that means a first column then fourth column then third column and if you go with the two so first four and two so this is how we can access the elements from a matrix so accessing one element and accessing one element accessing whole row and accessing whole column and accessing more than one row and accessing more than one column so very simple syntax so hope you enjoyed the session so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, matrix creation or accessing the elements of a matrix uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much